Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're using Dave Shaves Faves, so stay tuned because I'm That's right, I am Dave Shaves. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon for notifications. If you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media at The Dave Shaves. Hit me up on Facebook.com and Patreon.com slash The Dave Shaves. And hit me up on the web at TheDaveShaves.com. All right, so today we are using Dave Shaves Faves. That's just catchy. It's got a nice ring to it, right? Today, we are using my, some of my favorite products. These are not all of my favorite products. These are not my 100% favorite products ever. I don't really have 100% favorite products ever, so I've been able to narrow it down to some, some of them. Um, I have multiple razors, and there are some that I like just as much as this one, but they're, these are ones that I chose. <laughs> It was difficult to, to choose my favorite products, but I went ahead and just chose some that I definitely consider my favorites. Um, again, they're not necessarily the end all be all, but they are some of my favorites. Um, all that said, let's just go ahead and jump into what we're using. So we are using my Mula R41 open comb razor. We are pairing with that my 100% favorite blade of all time. This one, there is no negotiation. That is my Voskod. As far as shaving cream, we're using palm olive for men. For my brush, I am using my Badger Hair Perfecto brush. And to finish up, we are using some Nivea Men Sensitive Soothing Post Shave Balm. And then we're gonna be pairing with that afterwards, Aqua Velva Classic Ice Blue. So that's what we're using today. Uh, these are some of my favorite products of all time. I love these things. Um, they're products that I find myself going back to constantly. That's why they are on in this video. That's why they made the list at all. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and basically jump right into it. I've already got some cream already in my bowl there. I have my brush soaking. Let's go ahead and load up the blade and then we'll moisten up the face and then we'll get some shaving. How's that sound? All right. So put down in the comments below what you think about each of these products. Are these products that you use, any of them? Um, are they products that you absolutely love? Are they products you hate? Let me know, comments below. And also in the comments, put down what products are your favorites. Hell, put down what products are your least favorites. Let me know, let's get a, let's get a dialogue going. Tell me what you think. And if you watch this video and you wanna go ahead and do a follow-up, um, feel free to go ahead and do a follow-up video with your faves. I think that would be a fun way to do it. That being said, we got that all loaded up. Let's go ahead and splash some water on my face and get this party started. Hope everyone's doing well. This is my second video in just a few days and I'm very happy that I've been able to get uh, another video in so quickly. With any luck, with any luck, this is the start of getting more regular videos. That's, that's the hope at least. Um, I miss doing them all the time, I just, don't always have the time as much as I would love to devote all my time in the world to this YouTube channel. I just don't. But I do have more time now and I'm hoping that that will carry over to 
some more videos. So we'll see. All right, um, let's go ahead. And for my pre-shave lotion, I just use, as you probably know, I just have a jar here. Um, and it's filled with Vaseline for men uh, lotion. Um, it actually, for me, works great. Absolutely phenomenal for a pre-shave. Moistens up the skin. And it just, it does exactly what you would need it to do. All right. Now we got that in there. Let's go ahead and lather up. That's been soaking for a nice little bit now. This isn't the world's best badger hair, but people have asked me before if, it, if I'm sure that it is badger hair. I am, uh, it is 100% badger hair. It's not, it's not very good quality. Um, it's some of the, it's definitely a cheaper end badger hair, but it is, it is natural. Um, it's not synthetic. I just dropped a little bit of soap on the ground. That's all right. Luckily, I've been able to get my shave den in a little bit better order than it was uh, last time I shaved. I was sort of dropping stuff everywhere last time I shaved. So I got it nice and organized. At some point, I'm hoping to get a shave den tour out um, since it's been it's been a good couple years since I did my last shave den tour. And I'd like to get one out. Last one I think was 2021. I did one in 2020 when I first started the channel. And then I did another one in 2021 and I haven't done one since. So it's been, and that was back in April. So it's coming up on just about two and a half years since I've done a shaved end tour. So it's time. It's definitely time to get another one out there. Especially since a lot of my products have grown at leaps and bounds, um, specifically my razors. Um, as far as, you know, uh, brushes, I actually still only have a few brushes. I have not collected brushes like I have razors. Um, I've just always been more into razors, I guess, than brushes. I don't know. All right. Uh, we got this lathered up enough. So let's go ahead. And while we're on the topic, what do you guys have a lot of? Do you collect razors, soaps, aftershaves, brushes? What's the thing that you have the absolute most of? Mine is by far razors, followed by blades and aftershaves. Um, Blades, I actually may have even more than razors because uh, I got, I just kept getting a bunch of variety packs and packs and whatnot. So I have just a bunch of loose blades. But I feel like a lot of shavers out there do. Um, honestly, it's one of my favorite things. I, uh, that, I love collecting blades about as much as I love collecting razors, if I'm being completely honest. Um, So that's just, that's just me. All right, um, I've already gotten shaving cream all over my shirt, which means we are officially in a Dave Shaves video. Let's go ahead and just start. I'm also trying very hard not to step in a little bit of shave cream that I dropped on the floor. And for those that missed the last video, I did get, um, I did go back to a beard as opposed to a goatee. It's holding up nicely. I really enjoy it. I've missed having the beard. And I mean, I, I use beard as a loose term. It's not really, it's obviously not a full beard. Um, it just connects the sideburn to the, to the goatee area with a relatively thin And I put 
push too hard and I already sliced that mole. Ah, damn, I sliced that mole last time I shaved too. And every time I slice it, it takes a while for me not to. Sorry, I'm being really quiet. It has been a long time since I've used this razor. And I just cut myself again. This is a very aggressive razor. If you don't use it regularly, be very careful when you do. Because I've already got a quite a few nicks on here. I got that from my mole I got up here. And I think I got a little bit right here in the center too. But it's unusual even for me so I just gotta be careful. It's because honestly, I'm, I'm not used to this razor. And there are certain razors, especially some of the cheap ones that are really light that you can actually push down a little harder on. And I think I just got in the mindset that that's what I've been using. So I definitely, uh, so that's, that's what happened. I just need to be more careful. All right. Cutting for pass two. I gotta be very careful. I need to. When I'm going in for certain areas, I need to just concentrate on the shave more than the actual video, I think. Pass two, we are doing my across the grain pass. <sighs> yeah, you can see the blood. I'm sure you can easily see it, especially on that one down here as well. I kind of did a number. Not my finest hour with this. I have an alum block that I had gotten my hands on. Recently that I didn't use in the last video but I've used in shaves since and um, I'm gonna put that on after I'm done and maybe that'll help stop the bleeding a bit. And if not, I also have my styptic pencil, which should help. All right. So there's pass two. Yeah. 
was debating whether or not I was going in for pass three. I am. I am. I'm just going to be very careful with it. So you're getting a surprising bloodbath. That's got to be fun, right? For any of you horror fans, it's always fun, right? Right? Maybe I'll put that in the title of this video. Helps draw people in. It actually does too, and I may actually put it in the title. You'll obviously you'll know before you click this video. But I may. For those that are watching, that have been watching my videos for years, you know that on my second and third pass, for the bottom, for my neck area, I go up on the second pass and then I go very lightly across. And a lot of people tell you not to go across on the neck, but I do it because honestly, if I don't, I won't get a clean shave. And I've never, I don't want to say never, but I very rarely ever actually cut myself going across my neck. You can hear a lot of the feedback when I do my neck area, and that's because this problem area down here that I've always referred to as my problem area, it's right here and the hair sort of grows it in many different directions. All right, so there is that. Rinse off the razor a little bit and then we'll rinse off my face. doing a video on my favorites and I cut myself beard actually looks kind of nice I like it looks good I actually had not anticipated on going this narrow on the beer, but I'm actually glad I did. I really like it and it gives me a lot more area to shave than if I didn't, so. All right, so let's use, before we do my post-shave stuff, let's, or before we use my aftershave and whatnot, let's go ahead, start the post-shave with this Allen block. Nice small little arm block. Oh, that stings. Looks like I got a little bit over here too. Man, I did a number on my neck. Whew. And I don't think the Allen block is gonna do it by itself. So we're gonna 
grab my styptic pencil, which has seen better days. But we'll grab my styptic pencil and touch up those areas as well. My styptic pencil has seen better days. It still works though. from the other end because that end is not getting much. All right, that should help stop the bleeding, hopefully. But let's go ahead and finish up by using my, prop, my uh, aftershave products. We're using my Nivea Men's Sensitive Soothing Post Shave Balm. Just a little tiny bit of that. Just enough to soothe the skin a bit, hence the name. And then for the nice alcohol base, which I like using to close the pores and everything, my Aqua Velvet Classic Ice Blue. Also, love this smell. I love the smell of Aqua Velvet. Always have. All right, so that is my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I certainly enjoyed making it. If you're watching this video and you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, if you like all my videos, hit that like button, give me a comment below. Ring that bell icon for notifications. If you do feel so inclined, hit me up on social media. That is Instagram and Twitter, or X, at the Dave Shaves. Hit me up on facebook.com slash the Dave Shaves. Again, if you do feel so inclined, feel free to hit me up on patreon.com slash, you guessed it, the Dave Shaves. And hit me up on the web at thedaveshaves.com. That said, of course, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I'll see you on the next video.